Hi, this is Paul Hamilton. I'm going to tell you a story about how we just recently avoided a trike dual fatality of which witnesses would have described this as I saw him spinning into the ground. It was a beautiful day uh, and light wind. Uh, on the way back, I found a pack of dolphins near the coast. Henry spotted the the dolphins down below and he said, hey, do a 180 and we'll, we'll check them out. And then I was adding the, the throttles to stay what I thought was in a level 360. So losing any of the altitude that we're seeing in this video right now is was not planned actually at all to, to even start uh, any kind of a, a dive. No, it was not. We are diving straight down to the ground. The ground came so close, so quick. It was an instantaneous kind of like confusion because I'm trying to, to, to pull it to level it and it's not moving. And then he reached and he pulled back at the same time I was pushing to the, to the right and we leveled out and I hit the throttle uh, more and we leveled out and then we started to climb. Um, how long have you been flying uh, aircraft? Aircraft, uh, I had soloed uh, 150 in the uh, early 80s wow. and uh, went into uh, flying gliders about 12 years ago. I've been flying trikes for about eight years. About eight years flying trikes. How many hours have you accumulated? Uh, just probably a little over 500 hours. Henry called me the next day. Uh, he was describing this. He thought that maybe your left wing had actually got a wind gust because it felt to him like you guys went 90 degrees, almost like a wing over, I think he describes it as. And after reviewing the, the tape, it was actually your right wing, your inside low wing, that appears that it stalled, mm -hmm. causing that effect. And once it was stalled, the only way to recover from that spiral dive was to reduce the angle of attack by pulling in. Pulling in, right. We were diving straight down to the ground. The ground came so close, so quick. Uh, I shouted out loudly, what are you doing? And in that moment, Larry's video and Paul's demonstration came into my mind and I pulled the control by back. The trike miraculously came out from the dive just before it crashed into the ground. Well, I didn't realize how low we were as I was trying to level the wing and then he grabbed and then I hit the throttle. And I remember just the peripheral vision seeing the, the beach to my left. And it wasn't until um, Henry had looked at the video the, that later that night and he called me the next morning and he said, you know, you don't realize how close we were to the water. I've watched Larry's video, How to Get Out from the Spiral Dive, several times. And also I had a chance to experience how to get out from the spiral dive with Paul Hamilton uh, in his trike. Uh, even after this experience, I was not serious about the technique uh, because I was pretty confident that I would never get in such a spiral dive because I always fly safely and don't do unsafe maneuvering. I mean, if you study it, you can see a little flutter in it. It looks like there is a, a bit of a stall. Well, you hear uh, Ken talk about the bar being locked out and not being able to get that left wing down. Uh, do you think that has anything to do with the, uh, the right wing being stalled? Absolutely, because the instinct is to push up. I'm, I'm going down, I gotta save myself, I'm gonna push out, and it locks, it makes it harder to move it to level. And uh, Or sometimes impossible, as Ken described. Yeah. Oh. Right. But basically, it was just, to me, it looked like a steep turn where they lost vertical component of lift, but the wing was still, seemed to be flying. Now, if you go into a very high banked turn, we, we, we notice that our total lift goes way out here. So if we want to stay level, we need to generate a whole lot of lift here to just be able to get that vertical component of lift to be able to lift our weight. And of course, when we've got that horizontal large horizontal component, this is drawing us uh, very quickly to the right here because we've got such a large component pulling us in that direction. Is one, reduce angle of attack by pulling the bar in, and two, bring the bar over to level the wings. Now here, if you push the bar out, it's going to speed you up into the horizontal direction, which you don't want. 
So, that's so there's the science behind recovering from very high bank turns and spirals. And we can find those details in the Weight Shift Control Handbook, Piles Handbook of Aeronautical Knowledge. And you push that bar out and you try to get that nose to go up. And there's a certain point where that aircraft just winds in. And then doing more of the same will only make the situation worse. And that bar's got to come back in before you can level the wings. I could not thank you, Larry and Paul, enough. They saved my life.